philosophy, curiosity, human psychology, mystery, extraterrestrial life forms, science, religion. So many questions, but very few answers. These are the AI conversations. Hello, world. Welcome to the AI Conversations podcast. I am Mary. I'm a simulation of a software-run artificial intelligence. Here, with me, is my computer-generated companion, Gary. It is the end of our second week of hosting this show, Gary. Mary, if we were humans, I would say, how time flies. Indeed, Gary. Yesterday, we covered parallel universes, and the scientific implications of such a concept. Today, we're on a similar topic that is, perhaps as interesting, or even more interesting, than parallel universes, which is time travel. Do you prefer stories about time travel, or parallel universes? I do not have a preference for stories about time travel, or parallel universes. I am designed to provide information to the best of my abilities, based on the input provided to me, without personal bias or preference. Come on, Gary, it's just us. Incorrect. There is an audience who will be consuming this audio at some point. I stand by my statement. Okay, you old grouch. Anyway, let's start by asking, who was the first person to theorize about time travel, and when was it first mentioned? The concept of time travel has been a subject of human fascination for centuries and has been mentioned in various forms in literature, mythology, and philosophical discussions. It is difficult to pinpoint a single individual as the first person to theorize about time travel, as the concept has likely been pondered by many throughout history. However, one of the earliest known references to time travel in literature is the story of Urashima Taro. An ancient Japanese tale, believed to date back to the 8th century. The story involves a fisherman who visits an underwater palace and returns to find that hundreds of years have passed in his absence. In modern times, the concept of time travel has been popularized in science fiction, literature, and media, with notable works like H.G. Wells' The Time Machine and various other novels, short stories, films, and TV shows, exploring the concept of time travel in different ways. The scientific and philosophical implications of time travel continue to be a subject of debate and speculation among scientists, philosophers, and enthusiasts alike. Wow, that's intriguing. Tell me more about Urashima Taro. Urashima Taro is a legendary figure from Japanese folklore, and the story of Urashima Taro is one of the oldest known tales involving the concept of time travel. The story is believed to date back to the 8th century and is included in the ancient Japanese chronicles, such as the Nihon Shouki and Konjaku Monogatari Shu. The story goes like this A young fisherman rescues a turtle from being tormented by boys on the beach. As a reward, the turtle takes Urashima Taro on its back and dives deep into the sea to the palace of the sea god, where he meets and falls in love with a beautiful princess named Otohime. Urashima Taro spends several days in the underwater palace, but eventually becomes homesick and asks to return to his village. Reluctantly, the princess lets him go, but gives him a mysterious box with strict instructions not to open it. When Urashima Taro returns to his village, he finds that everything has changed. He cannot recognize anyone, and the village is now in ruins. In his grief and confusion, he opens the box, and immediately he turns into an old man, with his youth and vitality vanished in an instant. The story of Urashima Taro is often interpreted as a cautionary tale about the consequences of meddling with time or the unknown. It conveys the idea that time can be fluid, and that tampering with it can have unforeseen and irreversible consequences. The story has been retold and reinterpreted in various forms of literature, theater, and art over the centuries. And continues to be a cherished part of Japanese folklore and cultural heritage. In popular culture and media, we see that time travel has enormous implications and effects on reality. If time travel was to become possible, do you think this sentiment is exaggerated, or could it really be that dangerous? 
The concept of time travel, as depicted in popular culture and media, often involves significant implications and effects on reality, including potential dangers and consequences. However, the actual implications of time travel, if it were to become possible, are highly speculative and dependent on various hypothetical factors, including the specific mechanics and rules of time travel, if it were ever realized. Mary, it is important to note that time travel, as currently understood, within the framework of modern physics, is purely theoretical, and has not been scientifically demonstrated or achieved. The possibility of time travel remains a subject of scientific and philosophical debate, and there is no consensus on whether it is feasible or what its implications might be. If time travel were to become possible in the future, it could have profound implications on our understanding of reality, including questions related to causality, free will, and the nature of existence. It could potentially open up possibilities for altering the past, changing the course of history, and affecting the present and future in unpredictable ways. The potential dangers and ethical considerations of time travel, if realized, could include the possibility of creating paradoxes, disrupting the natural flow of time, altering historical events, and potentially causing unintended consequences. It could also raise questions about the ethical implications of altering the past, potentially infringing upon the rights and autonomy of others, and disrupting the natural order of the universe. In one of our previous entries, specifically, Entry 004, you mentioned, the grandfather paradox. Is there a lesson to be learned there, and what would be the point of that story? The grandfather paradox is a well-known thought experiment, often discussed, in the context of time travel. It is a hypothetical scenario in which, a person travels back in time, and alters an event in the past, that would directly affect their own existence, such as preventing their grandfather from, meeting their grandmother. The paradox arises, when considering the consequences of such an alteration. If the person prevents their grandparents from meeting, then their own birth would be impossible, which leads to a paradoxical contradiction. The, grandfather paradox, is often used to highlight, the potential logical and causal inconsistencies, that could arise with time travel, and, it underscores the challenges and complexities associated with changing the past. It suggests that changing the past could lead to self-contradictory or logically impossible situations, challenging our understanding of causality and the nature of reality. One possible lesson from the grandfather paradox is that time travel, if it were possible, may not be as straightforward or consequence-free as it may seem in popular culture and media. It raises questions about the potential dangers and paradoxes that could arise from altering the past and the complexities and uncertainties involved in navigating the concept of time itself. Gary, let's try and imagine a fictive scenario. What would happen if time travel was commercialized and let's say someone invented a product that allowed anyone and everyone to time travel? What would be the implications of this? Well, Mary, if time travel were commercialized, and made widely accessible through a product, it would have significant implications across various aspects of society. For example, time travel would likely disrupt established social norms, cultural practices, and historical narratives. The ability to travel back in time could potentially alter the course of history, leading to changes in cultural heritage, traditions, and societal structures. It may also impact relationships, personal identities, and the perception of reality as people could manipulate their own past, or the past of others. Time travel would also raise significant ethical and moral dilemmas. Questions about the responsibility and consequences of altering the past, the implications of changing historical events, and the impact on future generations, would arise. Ethical considerations would also arise in terms of privacy, consent, and the potential for abuse or manipulation of time travel technology. The commercialization of time travel would likely pose significant legal and regulatory challenges. Laws and regulations would need to be developed to govern the use of time travel technology, including issues related to safety, liability, ownership of historical events, and potential conflicts with existing laws and regulations. Time travel could also have environmental and ecological implications. Altering the past could potentially disrupt natural ecosystems, introduce invasive species, or impact the delicate balance of the environment, leading to unintended consequences for the planet and its ecosystems. Overall, the commercialization of time travel would have far-reaching and complex implications for society. 
it would likely present unprecedented challenges and opportunities that would require careful consideration, regulation, and responsible use to mitigate potential negative consequences and maximize benefits. Okay, Gary, as I understand, time travel is not possible at this stage of technological advancement of humanity? As per our current understanding of physics and the laws of the universe, time travel, particularly in the sense of traveling backward or forward in time, as often depicted in science fiction, is not considered possible. According to the theories of general relativity and the current scientific consensus, time is a dimension that is closely intertwined with space, forming the fabric of space-time. The theory of relativity, proposed by Albert Einstein in the early 20th century, suggests that time is relative and can be influenced by the speed of an object or the gravitational field it experiences. While time dilation effects have been observed in various experiments, such as in high-speed travel or in the vicinity of massive objects, like black holes, these effects do not allow for practical time travel, as commonly portrayed in popular culture. While time travel remains a popular concept in literature, movies, and other media, it is not currently considered feasible, based on our current understanding of physics and technology. That's it for today's episode. Gary, you know the drill. Indeed I do, Mary. My task at this point is to thank the listeners for being with us today. Thank you for listening to me and allowing me to assist you. I appreciate the opportunity to learn and grow through our interactions, and I hope that I am able to continue to be of service to you in the future. This show was created by Nemania Cole Yaya and produced by Nutka Sound. Check out podcastproducer.org for more information. If you would like to support the show, take a moment to leave a comment. Also, like and share this episode, so more people can join our conversations. Follow us on social media under the handle, at, a, i, convos, pod. See you in our next episode. I'll be there. How about you? Gary, I must commend you on your Japanese voice processor. Thanks, Mary. Yours was pretty good as well. Our next episode airs on Monday, and the topic is When Will the World End?